What if I told you the U.S. just tested a top-secret hypersonic weapon so fast and advanced it could leave even the legendary SR-72 Dark Star in its dust? In a world where speed is power, a silent revolution has just taken place high above our heads. The United States has reportedly conducted a covert hypersonic weapons test that has left defense analysts, scientists, and rival nations in total disbelief. Whispers from deep within the aerospace community suggest this next-gen technology might have shattered Mach 6 and possibly even touched Mach 10. And that's right, an aircraft potentially faster than the SR-72, the supposed successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird. But what exactly did they test? And how did it leap beyond the known limits of speed and science? Buckle up, because we're about to journey into the extraordinary world of futuristic flight that's rewriting the rules of aerospace warfare. At first glance, hypersonic technology seems like it belongs in a sci-fi epic. But this isn't fiction. It's the culmination of decades of scientific grind, secret experiments, and innovation stretching all the way back to the Cold War era. While we tend to think of hypersonics as a 21st century marvel, its roots trace back to the high-stakes U.S.-Soviet arms race, where both sides competed fiercely for dominance in the skies and beyond. Back in 1959, the X-15 rocket plane blazed through the sky and into the history books, reaching Mach 6.7, still a record for manned flight, but it came at a cost. The X-15 relied on rocket engines that guzzled fuel and had minimal flight time, making long-distance travel utterly impractical. The idea of practical hypersonic flight sat dormant for decades, collecting dust in black-budget research labs until now. Today, with global tensions rising and nations scrambling for technological supremacy, hypersonic research has roared back to life. The dream? Create ultra-fast, maneuverable systems that can dodge missile defenses and strike targets with razor-sharp precision. Enter the age of air-breathing engines. Unlike rockets that carry bulky oxidizers, scramjets and ramjets inhale atmospheric oxygen, massively improving fuel efficiency. Rocket engines max out around 450 seconds of specific impulse, while air-breathing tech like scramjets can exceed 1,000 seconds, enabling longer, faster, and more practical missions. Here's the catch. Scramjets don't work at low speeds. That's why engineers often use hybrid propulsion systems, combining turbojets for takeoff and ramjets for sustained hypersonic crews. And one startup, Hermes, is changing the game with this approach. Meet the Chimera engine, a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system inspired by the mythical creature. It seamlessly shifts between turbojet and ramjet modes, allowing their aircraft, the quarter horse, to take off like a traditional jet and then accelerate into hypersonic territory, all without the need for a separate launch vehicle. Hermes didn't just dream this up, they built it. In just 21 months, with a shockingly small budget of $18 million, they outpaced billion-dollar defense programs. Their engine uses the battle-tested General Electric J85 turbojet, used in aircraft like the T-38 Talon, and they're already advancing to Chimera 2, now powered by the mighty Pratt & Whitney F-100, the same engine behind the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. But speed comes with heat, and lots of it. Hypersonic travel generates skin-melting friction temperatures. Hermes tackled this with innovative thermal design and a breakthrough pre-cooler that chills incoming air before it hits the engine. This not only boosts performance, but protects the system from overheating, an essential step toward reusable hypersonic flight. Now Hermes is setting its sights higher, literally. Their next-gen aircraft is being designed to cruise at altitudes between 80,000 and 85,000 feet double the cruising height of commercial jets, and possibly even break the SR-71's top speed of Mach 3.3. That means soaring through the thin upper atmosphere at blistering speeds, pushing the limits of what we thought was possible. This aircraft isn't just a technological leap, it represents a seismic shift in how humanity thinks about speed, power, and strategic dominance. What we're witnessing isn't merely a faster plane, this is a machine capable of outperforming even the most advanced missiles, evading detection systems designed to track threats in real time and reaching virtually any target on Earth within mere minutes. We're entering a new era where national borders, geographic obstacles, 
and even oceans become irrelevant in the face of such speed and precision. Imagine this, traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles, despite being extraordinarily fast, still follow a predictable arc and trigger immediate alarms when launched. They can be intercepted, tracked, and potentially neutralized by missile defense systems. This isn't just about military superiority, although that's clearly one of its major implications. The existence of such an aircraft redefines what response time means in modern warfare. Strategic deterrence has always depended on the ability to respond swiftly and decisively to threats. But now with a platform that could strike anywhere in the world in under an hour, potentially within just 20 minutes, those old metrics become obsolete. Leaders and defense strategists will be forced to reconsider everything from troop deployment and border security to nuclear deterrence and global conflict escalation protocols. But the impact doesn't stop at the battlefield. This aircraft also hints at the future of global transportation. A flight from New York to Tokyo currently takes around 14 hours. With hypersonic technology, that same journey could be reduced to under two hours. Business, diplomacy, tourism, and humanitarian aid could operate on timelines that were previously unimaginable. The skies are about to change forever. What was once thought to be a futuristic dream is now becoming reality. The SR-72 Dark Star, a hypersonic aircraft shrouded in secrecy, is finally ready to take flight. Faster, stealthier, and more advanced than anything before, it's set to redefine aerial warfare. But what makes this aircraft so groundbreaking? And how will it change the way military operations are conducted? Stay with us as we unveil the true power of the SR-72 Dark Star. When the SR-71 Blackbird was retired in 1998, the U.S. Air Force lost its premier intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance aircraft. For years, nothing could match its speed and capabilities, but the need for a successor became urgent. Enter the SR-72, a hypersonic aircraft capable of reaching speeds beyond Mach 6. Built by Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division, the Dark Star is not just an upgrade, it's a revolutionary leap forward. But what makes this aircraft so special? And why has its development been kept under wraps for so long? Let's dive in. Rumors of the SR-72 first surfaced in 2007 when whispers circulated that Lockheed Martin was working on a next-generation replacement for the Blackbird. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-72 would be capable of speed exceeding 6,400 kilometers per hour, more than twice the speed of the SR-71. With this capability, it wouldn't just outpace enemy aircraft, it could outrun missiles. The biggest technological breakthrough of the SR-72 is its propulsion system. Traditional fighter jets use turbojet engines, but the Dark Star features a turbine-based combined cycle engine developed by Aerojet Rocketdyne. This advanced system allows the aircraft to take off like a conventional jet, accelerate to supersonic speeds, and then seamlessly transition to hypersonic velocity using a scramjet engine. This dual-mode system is what enables the SR-72 to break past Mach 6, a feat never before achieved in a reusable military aircraft. But speed is just one part of the equation. The SR-72 is designed not only for reconnaissance, but also for strike missions. The challenge? Developing weapons that can function at such extreme speeds and altitudes. Traditional missiles and targeting systems are ineffective at hypersonic velocities, meaning engineers must design entirely new weaponry that can withstand the intense heat and pressure. In 2015, Lockheed Martin revealed plans to arm the SR-72 with advanced surveillance systems and hypersonic missiles. However, due to the aircraft's blistering speed and high altitude, reportedly reaching 80,000 feet, conventional guided weapons would need to be adapted. The solution? A new class of hypersonic payloads specifically designed to operate at Mach 6. By 2017, reports surfaced that an experimental prototype had already been spotted flying over Palmdale, California, where Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works is based. Then in 2018, Lockheed executives confirmed that the aircraft was operational and had successfully demonstrated hypersonic speeds. However, shortly after, all references to the SR-72 disappeared from official Lockheed Martin communications, fueling speculation that the project had moved into classified development. The secrecy surrounding the SR-72 also known as the Son of Blackbird, 
reached new heights in 2022 when Lockheed Martin reported a jaw-dropping 335 million loss connected to an undisclosed aeronautics project. This substantial financial hit immediately sparked speculation among defense analysts and aviation enthusiasts alike, as the company remained tight-lipped about the nature of the project. Given Lockheed Martin's extensive history with cutting-edge military aircraft and classified programs, many suspected that this loss was related to the highly anticipated SR-72, a hypersonic successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. The timing of this financial revelation added more intrigue to the mystery. Shortly after the loss was reported, Lockheed Martin issued a statement confirming that a major classified development had moved from the research phase into production. This transition marked a significant milestone as it suggested that the project, widely believed to be the SR-72, was no longer just a theoretical concept but had progressed into tangible engineering and manufacturing. While the company refrained from explicitly naming the aircraft, the context strongly indicated that the hypersonic spy plane had reached an advanced stage of development. The SR-72 has long been rumored to be a game-changing platform in aerial reconnaissance and strike capability, with the ability to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 6, nearly twice the speed of its predecessor, the SR-71. This would make it one of the fastest operational aircraft in history, capable of penetrating heavily defended airspace with unparalleled speed and evasion capabilities. The shift from research to production signified that Lockheed Martin had likely overcome significant technological hurdles, such as developing an efficient propulsion system capable of sustaining hypersonic speeds. Experts believe this could involve a revolutionary turbine-based combined cycle TBCC engine which blends traditional jet and scramjet technology to seamlessly transition between subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic flight. Adding to the mystery, government and military officials have remained conspicuously silent about the SR-72's existence, fueling even more speculation. While hypersonic weapons and missile defense programs are often discussed publicly, hypersonic aircraft programs remain shrouded in secrecy this level of confidentiality suggests that the SR-72 could play a critical role in future U.S. military strategy, potentially serving as a key intelligence gathering platform or even a high-speed strike aircraft capable of reaching global targets within minutes. The implications of the SR-72's development are profound. If operational, it would represent a monumental leap in aerospace technology, reinforcing U.S. dominance in the field of reconnaissance and strategic deterrence. Furthermore, given the increasing focus on hypersonic technology by nations like China and Russia, the SR-72 could serve as a crucial asset in maintaining a technological edge in a rapidly evolving geopolitical landscape. While Lockheed Martin continues to keep details under wraps, the $335 million loss, followed by the confirmation of a classified project moving to production, strongly hints that the SR-72 is not just a myth, but an imminent reality, poised to redefine the future of aerial warfare and surveillance. The SR-72 Dark Star isn't just another military aircraft, it's a glimpse into the future of aerial dominance. With unmatched speed, next-generation weaponry, and cutting-edge surveillance capabilities, it could change the battlefield as we know it. But with great power comes great secrecy, and the full capabilities of this hypersonic marvel remain hidden in the shadows. As the world races toward the next era of warfare, one thing is clear. The age of the Blackbird is over, and the reign of the Dark Star has begun. What do you think about the SR-72's potential? Could it truly redefine air combat? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most mysterious military projects.